My name is John H. Crawford Jr. I'm the father of the slain John H. Crawford III, who on August 5th was murdered in the biggest retail store in the entire world. That'd be Walmart. Let me, let me say the name loudly for you. Walmart, where most of America spends their money at one time including myself, but that is no more. I'm, I'm here today to support the rest of these families in this wall of shame. I'm here today to let everyone know that my son's name, along with the rest of these families, will be vindicated. I worked under this system off and on for almost 20 years under the criminal justice umbrella. And never before have I been so ashamed that the same system that I carry out my duties is the same system that I'm receiving injustice for. The same system that we all are receiving injustice for. I would like to to, to let everyone know to please stay focused. Don't forget the name John Crawford III. Don't forget Walmart. Associate the name with the place. He wasn't killed at a department store. He wasn't killed on the street. He was killed at the biggest retailer in the world. A video has emerged tonight that captures the tense moments leading up to a BART police officer shooting that killed a man on New Year's Day. The camera shifted to an officer trying to arrest one man when another officer's gun fired behind them. 22-year-old Hayward resident Oscar Grant was hit by the officer's bullet. He later died. It's 2009, feeling fine from the party after New Year's Eve. You know the train's getting rowdy and having a couple drinks doesn't make me a alky. People started fighting and somebody pointed out me. Here come the bar police charging me. I don't ought the beef, I'm a father, please. I got a little girl at home, she only four years old. She my world, my flesh and bone, as tears started to roll. If they just looked him in his eye, they could see clear to his soul. But these cops only understand fear and control, face down on on the ground in a prone position Bystanders start recording cell phones was flipping Thinking he's another brother on the road to prison They have no idea they gon' witness a lynching The young brother was clinching but he wasn't resisting it Johannes Mesery Made a fatal decision as he rose to his feet and took hold of his seat The entire train station froze in disbelief Oscar the father barely over 20 With goals and the dreams of household and family His last seconds on earth he didn't know it could be. Only the dirty train station flow he can see You hear the bullet explode through his fleece You won't see an execution that cold in the streets Damn, you see what happened? That cop started snapping cell phones they was grabbing I had mine in the lining of my jacket That cop was a cold-hearted bastard Shooting them in the back is an act of a savage A flash from the gap that snatched your soul future You can lose your life just by being a commuter As soon as I get home I upload from my computer The YouTube entitled the cowardly police shooter The rally's at 3 o'clock At the station up the block The sign that I got Says jail or killer cops I'm hot to say the least Especially got the police chief Who said the proof is inconclusive I think it's inconclusive um, We need to talk to all the officers And especially the primary You seen the video man Them cops is ruthless I'm tired of the silence And the goddamn excuses Why we always be the one With the bruises In the back of the police cruisers now I see cops in riot gear surround the protest It's a peaceful demonstration, we don't pose no threat Mr. Officer, do you have a child? If someone shot him in the back, would you want him on trial? Would you want the DA and the mayor to vow That you would get justice 
before I act so foul Man, I'm sick of all this waiting I want justice right now The hell with all the yelling It's time for the rebellion Rebellion What's wrong with the law right now? It's not working for the people, man. I mean, you out here and you can sell that stuff to people that really don't know. But the intelligent people here really understand. What are you saying? What I'm saying is, sir, is that why couldn't you have come earlier? Let me tell you, I was doing something earlier. How can you have a first-class cosmopolitan city when you're the mayor of a city that just had an execution when you can go to New York City with Rudolph Giuliani, who had an adversarial relationship with the citizens, and he gave a press conference the day after Amadou Diallo got shot. Michael Bloomberg gave a press conference that night that Sean Bell got shot. Mayor Antonio Veragosa gave a press conference the same day that the police shot up, shot up and beat up all the Latinos during the Immigration May Day March. Right? We can go all around the country. You know, there's a press conference by Israel when they drop bombs on Gaza the same day. So you're the mayor of a city that already seen its history drenched in blood of police killings from Bobby Hutton all the way up to Gary King to now. And then you can't even just speak to the people as a human being?